Hey everybody, today I'm just going to show how the high idle switch works on the new 2024 GMC Sierras. Chevy should be just the same thing since that's also a Duramax. So uh, if you, there's two different ways you can do it. I'm here in the uh, hot um, summer right now, so it's not going to do it when I perform it manually just because there's no use for it. But first thing you're going to do is put on the parking brake. Uh, second thing you're going to do is just roll down your cruise control to the set there, and that will bump you up to the elevated idle. Now, um, you can enable and disable this feature. Um, whenever you uh, actually hit your brake, that's gonna disable it. Uh, if you hit your accelerator, you shift either out of uh, park or neutral that the vehicle needs to be in or there's vehicle speed detected, that's gonna automatically turn off your high idle. Um, now, you can go in and actually do this. Um, it will do it automatically if you go into your settings. So we uh, go right here, I'm just gonna pull up, we'll swipe over, go to settings. Once you get to settings, you're gonna to go to vehicle, then climate and air quality. Now here it's either gonna say rapid heat elevated idle or you have enhanced heating. When I tap here, you'll see now my elevated idle is on. Um, again, I'm in the summer, so this isn't actually doing it, but it's been a question with a lot of my customers. Um, if you tap here where it tells you enhanced heating, you actually can see right here you have an off on. When on and in park or neutral, the cabin will warm up faster on cold days by using a higher engine idle speed. See your owner manual for details. Now that's something that's not typically on for the ones that I've received so far. So that is a nice feature if you wanna be able to start your truck, have it warm up quicker. Um, the high idle can be a good thing. A lot of commercial diesel drivers uh, really like that feature as well. So um, if you guys have a different experience, uh, tell me in the comments, we can update the video. Make sure we get some good accurate information out there. But uh, one of the things that had me scratching my head on these new trucks were before the old ones, the 2023s, you hit the parking brake, you hit the set on your cruise control, you're all set and it does it till you either hit your set again or you start driving the truck, you know, shifting it out of park, hitting the brake pedal, um, that type of thing. So the official rules on this are the outside tables below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius and the engine coolant temperatures below 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's your parameters for it as well. All right, uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.